Now on 7, the Anderson County Sheriff's Office has free safety training for that community. They have a range of seminars from active shooter training to women's safety and situational awareness. Sheriff's Office says they want to help churches, schools, and businesses become more secure, make Anderson a better place to live. They say that's why they're doing all this for free. I've actually had some feedback where they found themselves in a situation or they felt like they were about to be in a situation where the training surfaced back up in their minds and they were able to, uh, you know, divert and do something different. If you'd like to attend a course, get a safety assessment on a building, just email the Sheriff's Office. We've got that link and more information at WSPA.com. Well, we are starting something new tonight. Carolina blends and brews. We look at local microbreweries and vineyards showing you what makes them unique and how they're involved in the community. 7 News' meteorologist Dan Bickford kicks off with a visit to Boiling Springs. Black Owner Brewing, just off I-85 and Highway 9 in Boiling Springs, is less than three years old but has made its mark from a wide range of beers to events like veterans' lunches. Just pour off a little sample here. Owner Sean Wagoner is a Navy veteran himself. That background gave Plank Owner its name. A Plank Owner is somebody who's part of the original crew of a brand new ship when it's commissioned into service. That original crew was said to have had some sort of symbolic ownership, therefore they owned a plank of the ship or a Plank Owner. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take you. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. We knew we wanted to bring the beach coastal vibe to the upstate. You know, I'm from West Palm Beach, South Florida. Um, my head brewers from South Florida as well, and everybody enjoys going to the beach. Within that atmosphere, they have something for all beer lovers. So this first beer I'm pouring here is our John Paul Jones. Including this flagship colonial ale, they've made about 47 beers and try to keep around 18 available at once. Beers have nautical names. Darker beers carry pirate themes. I think a lot of breweries try to focus on a style for, you know, they want to focus on IPAs, or they just want to focus on sours. And that's fine, but for us, we wanted to focus on good, drinkable, crushable beer, regardless of style. With the holidays approaching, expect an apple cranberry sour called Siren's Call and an oatmeal stout called Pirate King that will have an apple cinnamon touch. What are the odds are that I can get a Stormbringer stout named after me? <laughs> Tradition, commitment, community. It's the Plank Owner Brewing motto, and it's more than just about serving beer. In 2019, we did a chili cook-off that benefited some of the local fire departments. Um, we've done some work with the JCs, but our primary focus is always the veterans community. That includes working with groups such as Upstate Warrior Solution and Veterans Last Patrol. You want any ketchup for those fries? And all veterans are welcome to the Friday lunches every week at 11 a.m. We have every, everywhere from 30-something-year-olds um, to uh, Stan, who's 94, and Stan is a uh, Iwo Jima survivor. Um, Marine on the ground at Iwo Jima comes in, drives himself here every Friday to hang out with his friends. Fellowship, food, and beer, all part of being a plank owner. Enjoy responsibly. That was 7 Weather Meteorologist Dan Bickford reporting. If you do want to get involved with the veterans group that Plank Owner works with, we have links to them in this story on WSBA.com.